The wind is back. Haven't had any for ages, but once the winter wind starts blowing, we've got some serious energy power. Yee! So I'll put the uh, camera in a tripod shortly so it won't be shaky. Uh, but this is where we're at. I did quite a few more bits and a few bit of cleaning, so uh, let's crack on. That's how it's coming along so far. I just need three strings. So that's what we've ended up with after this exercise, which is the two motor plates and the bearings. I just sorted all the bolts out, so that's good. The, the whole point is that this now is adjustable, so we can adjust the exact length between the spindle on the top of the turbine and the generator assembly, which hangs underneath. Okay, so the side, this is the front. See the grinder pixies came to town last night and did quite a lot of grinding for me.
So that's what it's going to be like. And now I need to just have a double think over a cup of tea if I'm actually going to weld these on. Because once I weld them on, it's going to be a lot of uh, SHIT to take them off again. Peace. So I changed my mind with the idea regarding the holes and aligning everything. I was going to do it a different way now. I'm just going to try getting a bit of weld on this. We'll have to see how my welder's going to do because this is one inch thick, this stuff, so it's way higher than obviously a, a welder of that size would be rated for. But we'll soon find out. So, we've got power speed, power 8, wire speed 5. Well, that sure seems to have gone in there, folks. Actually looks like a pretty good bit of weld. The other bit wasn't too bad, but I moved a bit quick, I think. Well happy with that, that's lovely. Tailed off a bit in the end, a bit too fast, but definitely getting there with the old welding. Whoa, that's a big old chunk. That's a big old chunk. So, that's welded on to the frame. This is the back end, remember, rear. And the true test now is if I can undo these bolts and take the motor off. So that's what I'm gonna try doing. Right, so that's those bolts off, so fingers crossed. Whoa. You've got to be careful because that's not bolted in. So that's what we've got now. The rear stuff is welded on. So. Morning folks, it's Saturday and I'm cracking on with this thing as best as I can. The next job to do is to cut some off the end of the frame because the shaft needs to, I know this is showing the rear uh, but it's all about the length of the shaft. The shaft needs to be let's say eight inches longer than the actual frame so the blades have somewhere uh, to stick out and the blade hub that I'm going to make. So. 
yeah that's the next job I'm going to unclamp this and then cut all that end bit off and then weld this frame on here and that'll be for the third bearing I wanted to cut the front motor bracket like this so that it will reveal more of the stator rather than just having a crappy looking square. So yeah, that's good. Told you the wind is back, didn't I? It's howling today, about 15 mile an hour, lovely jubbly. I've actually found what's really helping with, with my welding is having some kind of light right over it. So when I put my welding helmet on I can see everything crystal clear. So this is power setting 8, wire speed 5. Yeah buddy! Woo! Lovely! This welder is doing the bits guys, doing the bits. Little bit extra there for good measure. Yeah boy, look at that. That's sweet as a nut. It's really going in because that's actually one inch. This stuff here is one inch square. So, lovely. A little bit of pingage there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and get a little bit in the middle. Get my glove on. Whoa. Not great, but <clears throat> when, when you're welding it's actually really nice to have a corner to weld into, like on these bits, it makes it a lot easier. Stick out, got a bit too long that time, so I'm to try. Not had one uh, top out yet from the extension lead because I'm running off a 13 amp extension lead and obviously if we're pulling approximately see what I'm going to do actually because the welder is kind of almost out of sight when I'm welding what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up now in front of the welder and then we should see how many amps it's pulling so I'm going to leave this on I don't know why it says 8.8 .8 all the time and we should get some change when I start welding okay I'm going in So I won't push the duty cycle, I'll go have a cup of tea and let it cool down. Well happy with that, that's lovely. Tailed off a bit in the end, a bit too fast but definitely getting there with the old welding.